Howdy, Red Nation. Today, we're going to be talking about loss of contrast or saturation in your x-ray imaging coming up here at How Radiology Works. Loss of contrast or saturation in x-ray imaging is one of the things that is on your AART content specification for studying for your AART. And this really refers to an effect which occurs predominantly in film. Even though film is not really on the AART anymore, this topic is still there. Understanding what loss of contrast or saturation means, you need to understand at a high level what this thing called the S-curve is. When we plot this function on a graph, it looks kind of like the shape S, something we call a sigmoid in math. But the idea here is if you look at a curve like this, what we have plotted is the exposure how much x-rays are actually getting to the image receptor and we have that plotted here against the film or the optical density which is the way that we characterize basically the bright or darkness of this film you can see here if you're looking at the s curve when we have real underexposure there's not nearly enough x-rays getting through to the film. What's gonna happen there is not enough x-rays are getting through in the film. It actually looks like everything was highly attenuating because not enough x-rays actually got through to get into this, what we call this relatively linear region for the film. We have an artifact due to the limitations of the film, namely in this region here, things look overly saturated. The same thing on the other side, it looks like an underexposure where on this side, everything is saturating on the bright end. On this side, everything is saturating on the dark end. And then in the middle here, you get the Goldilocks region where you actually can see differences between the different types of tissue that are in your exposure. And this is because those different areas on the film are getting treated in a linear manner. That places that are seeing more exposure can be differentiated from places that are seeing less exposure. But on these two sides, this is what's called saturation. When you get to a point, you start to not be able to tell apart the different grayscale levels anymore because they all get clamped to one end. Either everything looks too bright or everything looks too dark. That's what's called saturation in your x-ray imaging. And it's typically an effect that you would see on your film. With the advent of digital, either CR or DR, there does become an area of saturation eventually. You're typically well outside of the region that you would want to be prescribing clinically. From the perspective of your clinical imaging, you can think of the digital as having what we call a linear behavior here, that if you give a smaller amount of radiation dose, you will be able to see a signal and it will be a good representation of the grayscale levels. If you are on the low end of exposure, it will be noisy, but it will not be saturated in that same way that film was saturated. Now you know about the loss of contrast or saturation in x-ray imaging. Next, see our video about exposure monitoring in x-ray imaging. Because when we move away from film to digital, we actually solve this loss of contrast or saturation effect. But now we need another way to actually monitor the exposure that we're using. See that one coming up next.